got down there. So what you want? A one bourbon, a one shot, a one beer. Yeah, not necessarily in that order, according to Larry Bell, the founder of the Kalamazoo Brewing Company, Oberon Day. It's available in stores uh, in 19 states now and Puerto Rico. We're hanging around here in the AT&T studio. We have now our uh, Oberon sunglasses for the year on. Eh? You look very nice. Do I? Yeah. Snazzy. It's like a light blue and then sort of an orange on the on the uh, arm of the glasses. And I wish we'd have some sunshine anyway. You can't uh, you can't always count on the weather, can you? You can count on it on the side of the box, though, in the bottle of the Oberon. you got sunshine right on there, and it comes in a bottle. Absolutely. And, yeah, as I mentioned, cans uh, end of April this year because, you know, Michigan, uh, a lot of opportunities for cans. We're the number one boating state in the Union. Uh, People like to uh, bring cans rather than bottles on the boat. Better to take cans on the bottle than the boat, yeah, right? Golf courses, camping. A lot of occasions for cans as Could well. You drop them and break them, and people stop on them. Yeah, right. Does it taste any different out of the can? I think it does. You know, we haven't actually put it in the can yet, so we'll have to see. Aha. What about it, the? Do the are the cans get colder than bottles? No, they no. don't, because it feels like the cans get colder. There are advantages both ways on bottles and cans. Cans keep the light out; they have less oxygen in them. Mm -hmm. uh, can uh, technology. There's still a coating on the inside of a can, though that. Uh, you know, isn't necessarily my favorite thing, but um, you right because it does. So it does change the flavor it, just a bit. Well, you have to work on that. You know, if I have a beer in the fridge and then I leave it out on the table without opening it, doesn't mean a thing. You can't skunk a beer. The only way you do that is if it was really hot beer and then you got it really cold quick. You might get because of a pressure differential get air under the cap, mm -hmm. and that's it's light and it's air that messes with beer. So if you have beer that comes in a clear bottle, um, if it hits sunlight, then it's going to change the flavor of beer. That'll skunk a beer. Unless a lot of beer that comes in a clear bottle, they use a product that uh, prevents it from skunking. So it'd have to be extreme and have to be a clear bottle. Right. Well, you know, you have brown bottles. Even brown bottles. If I'm in, if I'm sitting outside, mm -hmm. uh, drinking beer out of a clear gla glass in the sunshine, I can notice skunkiness starting in about five minutes. But I'm. But as long as you don't open it, and you put it back, it's okay. Right. You know, it's age, it's sun, it's heat that affects flavor of beer. Why not have the twist off? I mean, you have to have the bottle opener to open Oberon, right? Why it, not twist off? Uh, because I think uh, pry off caps are better, better for quality. Again, better for keeping air out of the bottle. Uh -huh. All right. See, so these are the things you could teach the students today. So we're getting a free class from you. You're going to be teaching at Michigan State. I understand you were telling me that last night you came in on the train from Chicago and you checked into the hotel and you decided to have, you know, you wanted a little something, some <laughs> sustenance because you got in late. Yeah. And, and you got a surprise, huh? Yeah, I looked at the menu and first thing on the menu is Bell's French onion soup over over the Radisson. <laughs> well, what do you think I had dinner? <laughs> How did it taste? It was awesome. Do they have to ask you to do something like that and put it on the menu, or it doesn't matter? Well, you, you know, uh, I I suppose if I talked to my trademark attorney, he'd probably have something to say about it, but yeah. I, I don't think I'm going to get all worried about it. You're going to chill. Yeah. Uh, do they do they serve Oberon in the bar there? I, I trust. Yeah, they were trying to ship me up a, a couple bottles of beer, um, but... Uh, you know, it's an early morning with you. I, I opted for a glass of milk instead. Okay. <laughs> Mother's milk is what they say Guinness is. <laughs> yeah. We've got the new Oberon. Now, i got to ask you this, too, because you spent some time in Chicago. You live there, and you live in Kalamazoo. You told me during the break that you're going to go to every single Chicago Cubs game at Wrigley Field because you live in Wrigleyville. Yep. You're going to sit through 81 baseball games. 81 baseball games. It's the 100th anniversary of Wrigley Field this year, and it's kind of been on my bucket list, something to do. And in fact, I'm in a new book uh, that's out this week by Ira Burkow and Josh Noel, Ira from the New York Times, and Josh is with the Chicago Tribune, yeah. uh, about Wrigley Field, 100th anniversary. And uh, the interview I did was a couple years ago, and I actually said I wanted, wanted to do this. And it's a great opportunity to celebrate 100 years of Wrigley. The Cubs, we don't expect a lot out of them this year, but... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a challenge, and uh, say. if you want to come in for a game, let me know. I've never been, I've been I'm outside the stadium last year at St. Patrick's Day just to go look at it and walk around it, but I've never been in for a game. I would do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're uh, obviously being a Michigan company, we're big supporters of uh, the Detroit Tigers. We sell beer at Comerica Park there, um, but I'm from the Chicago area. My great-grandfather wrote a song for the Chicago Cubs for Charlie Root Day, August 10th, 1941. 
So it, my great great grandmother is buried two blocks from the park, um, you know, in the old German cemetery. So it's kind of in my DNA. I love the romance of the idea of going to a baseball game at a stadium like that. I can't imagine sitting through 81 of them. I just can't imagine it. Are you going to be working on your laptop, or I mean, are you really going to sit there and watch baseball for 81 games? I'm going to watch baseball. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to immerse myself in it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, you, does that include naps? No, there's no napping in baseball. <laughs> there's no crying in baseball. Uh, no, so it's here, and Tony Cuthbert and the orchestra, you see him there with the band. Uh, huge fan. And by the way, uh, Daryl Hall, it's John Oates that's going to be with us next hour. Yeah, next hour. He's going to be joining the orchestra for, for the day next hour. Uh, would you like to taste the Oberon? Is this warm or cold? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. He it doesn't likes matter. It. No, it does not matter. Here's the beautiful sound. There it is, the opening of the cap by the founder himself. Oh, that smells good. And uh, he's having a breakfast beer this morning. Now, I notice you tilt the glass eh, a little bit. Well, it's a little warm, so it's a little foamy here. Is that what And I just bounced it over here. So we let it open up and uh, let that uh, foam settle down a little bit. And then Tony Cuthbert will be doing the taste test. All right. You think he can run in here and run back to the orchestra? Right now? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's. Uh, Tony's going to come in. Put in some music. See, he's the expert on this. And he's got some baseball music in there for you. John Fogarty, he's opening too. You do the glass and I'll do the bottle. Or you gonna have one too? Or you gotta? Jeez. It's Oberon Day in 19 states. Luckily, Michigan. This is all made right here in Michigan. Cheers. Cheers to you. To and the to Sony and the orchestra. Here comes the sun and here comes the Oberon. Hashtag Oberon 14 or hashtag Leave the Sun on. You can post pictures, Instagram, Twitter, or at Bell's Beer. Uh, on Facebook. Fantastic. Very pleasant. Tony says it's spring across Michigan, and we're glad you're with us. And Larry Bell, too. Thank you so much for being here this morning. My pleasure. Thank you. Everybody feels better now, don't they? Go on out and get it at a Meyer store or a store near you. It's uh, Oberon 2014.